right here. Okay, this is Katie Feeney, and she's got all the tricks. And she's out there doing her thing. She's a one-woman show, and she's crushing it. The first ever social media correspondent hired by a team in NFL history. We celebrate the wins here. We declare victory on the trailblazers of the world. And Katie Feeney, I mean, there's victory and then some 12 million subscribers through her social media platforms. Katie, what is that like? And you're also, like, in school at Penn State? Yeah, I'm a junior at Penn State. This all has happened super fast. I'm so grateful for it. My freshman year um, was the year I became the first ever NFL social media correspondent, which in itself was crazy. Wow. I remember Adam Schefter tweeted it and I was like, okay, this is real. People were sending me these, the tweet they saw. Um, yeah, it's an amazing experience to get to learn from college and then also get to learn from experience and I've been a commanders fan my entire life so getting to work with the team um it's been once in a lifetime uh, once in a lifetime experience for sure so I think there's some people out there all ages all genders all all different backgrounds that want to do what you're doing but they, they might think it's easy <laughs> so explain <laughs> explain the hard work that goes into what you do yeah, it's definitely a lot of hard work. I mean, it's a lot of consistency, balancing school and social life and traveling and posting content, coming up with ideas. I just wake up really early and I go to bed late. I do my homework on the plane and it's a grind, but it's 100% worth it. I started in high school building wow. my social media. I actually started in middle school, but taking it seriously, I would say high school. And yeah, I mean, posting every day, multiple times a day on every platform, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, and over time, it grows. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted from even <laughs> hearing that. But I think what I'm hearing is you say that it's hard work, but it's also consistency. Consistency is sort of yeah. the key. But you're telling me it's worth it. What is the most, what has been the most rewarding moment for you so far in your young career? The first big event I went to was the Super Bowl. And that is something <laughs> I didn't even... I didn't grow up going to a lot of NFL games like so going to from going to a few NFL games to then the Super Bowl, which is something that like so many people want to experience and to have access that I would have never thought I would be able to have. It was so surreal and having young women and young girls look up to me the same way I look up to women like you. That's the most rewarding part of it. And to show people that we can do this and there is a space for women in sports and it's only growing. So yeah, it's been, it's been a blessing. I think it's, I think I'll say this and I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a woman thing necessarily, but I think that there's a way of thinking and a way that things have been organized for a long time. And it's very hard to get anybody to understand that there's a different way to do things. And I spent a lot of my young career saying, knock, knock, but we can do, why don't we incorporate fantasy football into this? And, I, and I'm not, just putting fantasy football on television was like, no, we're not doing this. Like the most <laughs> successful people who sit in those corner offices and make those decisions, it was a hard pass. No, because, well, like, Kay's not like, what are we going to do with Kay? Where does she get? And you, the, 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 the courage that it sort of takes to say, let me disrupt this. There is a different way. That's the win. That's the win, it's the success, it's the hard work. There's a different way of doing it, but that's the part where I think people, it's so hard to get, to, to sort of change the way that other people think it should be. And you've done that, and I think that you're just getting started, and we're super, super excited about it. Um, why are you trying to take out Jahan, da, uh, Jahan uh, Dotson with a jugs machine, though? What, I like him, <laughs> and he's your Penn State buddy. What, what happened there? <laughs> no, that was an accident. No, uh, <laughs> What happened here? I was trying to do it, and I I almost, like, my hand almost fell off. <laughs> I was not doing it right, but no. John is a friend of mine, and it was super cool because right after I became the social media correspondent for the Commanders, I saw John got drafted, and that was just Wild. a full circle moment, um, both from Penn State. It was, yeah, it was awesome. He's a great guy. Okay, so you have this thing going on. I'm not cool, but you're going to make me cool. And by the way, you're it's number six, <laughs> Penn State, Nittany Lions take on at number three, Ohio State. Both teams 6-0. Give me your pick. 
Penn State, 100%. This is our year. We're going to take down Ohio State this year. It's going to be a great game. I'm excited to watch. We love to hear that. I'm into that. Now, you posted this. T okay, yeah, here we got the Nittany Lions. That's great. I want to talk about TikTok because I don't understand TikTok. I think it's crazy. I think it's wild. Um, <laughs> there's this trend going on called My Fall Fortune. So we thought we could have some fun and do our own version called My Football Fortunes, okay? We're going to see what you think of the results. So let's see what the fortune tellers have cooked up for you or for me or for us on this Christmas crystal ball thing. We have NFL spirit animal. Um, okay, great. I don't, I don't, take, talk me through this, Eric. Oh, they'll be revealed. Okay, they'll, they'll be revealed. Okay, be player revealed that I will fortune. interview, oh my gosh, and player I'll go for as ho on Halloween. Okay, so let's start with NFL spirit animal. Now, is this me for, or this me for me? Katie. Oh, this is for Katie. This is for Katie. Oh, good, I was like, oh, I, this okay. is stressful. Okay, so, so, so you just, you just run it. You host the segment, Katie. Your spirit animal is? Oh, I'm, am I picking the spirit no, animal? No, no, I think it's just revealing itself. See, I told you I sucked at TikTok. Who, the, oh, okay. Aaron Donald, what do you think? <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Yes, thank you. <laughs> He's got a, a motor that never stops. He practices with rubber knives. He's a fierce competitor. Sure. Okay, who is Katie Feeney's player that she will interview? TikTok up and Adams. Oh, would this you like this? Cool. I, I almost got to interview Patrick Mahomes at the White House, actually. I was so close, um, but it was... Yeah, it didn't end up happening, but I was close to. Okay, so maybe it will actually happen. <laughs> I think it happens. I think it does. And he's like the best interview. It's like you could do it in your sleep. He's nice and easy. Um, uh, your next football fortune is player you'll go go as uh, for Halloween. This is okay. Who's this? I do need a Halloween costume. Okay. Oh, Sam Howell, let's go. <laughs> we love a Sam Howell. How? on the show you'll you just walk around with a big bag of chick-fil-a and like really great hair <laughs> there we go and that would be it katie feeney you are a total stud you are a powerhouse i'm so excited for you let us know if you ever want to if you're ever in la want to come in but continue to grow your empire and don't forget about us when you're like even more famous than you are oh my goodness no we'll have to do a collab in, in person <laughs> thanks for watching subscribe here to get the latest up and adam's content right on youtube